According to the Center for Disease Control, insufficient sleep is a public health epidemic. It's linked to motor vehicle crashes, industrial disasters, and medical and occupational errors. Sleep-deprived people are more likely to suffer from chronic diseases like high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, obesity, cancer, and even early death. Our round-the-clock lifestyle may be a factor, but sleep disorders like insomnia and sleep apnea play an important role. We spoke with leading sleep specialist Dr. Jeffrey Namias to answer the top questions about insomnia and sleep apnea. Insomnia is a disorder of initiating or maintaining sleep. The patient will usually present with either a problem of sleep onset, in other words, the patient has difficulty falling asleep, or a, sleep, a problem with sleep maintenance, i.e. the patient has a problem maintaining sleep. If the patient has a problem with sleep maintenance, they may um, report that they're getting up multiple times during the night, or that they may wake up at like three or four in the morning and then have difficulty falling back to sleep. Often it's a combination of sleep onset and sleep, sleep maintenance that brings a patient to the sleep doctor. Insomnia is often classified as either acute, which means less insomnia occurring in less than one month, or chronic, insomnia that goes on for one month or more. We've all experienced acute insomnia. That is insomnia secondary to some emotional stimuli, such as you, um, you're moving, or you had um, something happen in your life where you got very upset, uh, for instance, let's say you got an audit from the IRS and you're saying, oh my God, I can't sleep um, until you find out the, the audit was only just, let's say, for a signature on your tax return. Then you're able to return back to sleep. Those who develop poor sleep hygiene habits can go on to a chronic insomnia. Chronic insomnia will last one month to years. Often the patient doesn't even remember why he's, he, uh, the insomnia started. Uh, but either way, the patient has developed poor sleep hygiene during this period of time and he's unable to either initiate sleep or maintain sleep. And that's where the sleep doctor comes in, uh, importantly, in helping these patients out. Patients with insomnia will often present, and by definition, will be presenting with daytime dysfunction. They will be irritable the next day, tired, have poor cognition, poor focusing ability, poor memory. Also, in the workplace, they may have poor work efficiency. Uh, this can be noticed by themselves, by their co-workers, and sometimes by their bosses, and this can get them in trouble. So they'll also often be irritable and um, not want to socialize as much because they're too tired to go out. So it affects their social and even married, mar marriage, uh, married life. Patients uh, present to their sleep physician will also be worked up for organic causes of insomnia. Such organic causes will include obstruct the obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, whereby the patient stops breathing multiple times during the night and can thus severely disrupt sleep. The restless leg syndrome, whereby the patient has irresistible, irresistible urges to move the legs um, at the beginning of the night, such that uh, they have to get up and walk around the bedroom. Or periodic leg movements during sleep, whereby the patient's legs kick involuntarily multiple times throughout the night, thus causing sleep disruption, usually a sleep maintenance insomnia. These are very three important organic causes that the sleep physician will investigate and will often order a sleep study for to look for um, these organic causes of insomnia. If you click on the link below, you can get more top answers about insomnia and how to treat it. All your questions are answered by a medical professional who specializes in sleep or simply call to request an appointment with our sleep centers to find out more about sleep disorders and how they're treated.